seem unwell. Your Highness, can I ask you something? What's your job? I mean, what does a king do? Hmm. If I had to sum it up in a single line, I'd say it's putting the needs of his people before himself. Does that mean you'd be willing to die to save me? No. A king cannot sacrifice himself for any individual, not you or anyone else. That would be an abdication of duty and a betrayal of his subjects. Huh. Yeah, I can see that. However, if I could save someone important to me by risking my own life, I would do so without hesitation. But you just said you wouldn't die for someone. What's the difference? In other words, I would do what your Mila did. My Mila? Yes. Although I imagine the Mila I know would have done the same. <laughs> but it made me feel bad. You need to turn your sadness into pride for having been protected. Live a life that will prove to her that you were indeed worth saving. I don't entirely get it, but I think I sort of understand. Thanks, Your Highness. Luger, I was just talking to His Highness about what happened. He sort of helped me through it. Kids probably aren't supposed to bother kings with their problems, huh? I'm sure he was happy to help. Yeah, I think he was. Even though I'm just a kid, His Highness really tried to help. The kings in storybooks are mostly jerks, but His Highness is different. He's a good king. Well done, Mr. Kresnik. I have a message for you from President Bakor. I want to meet the real Maxwell. Bring her to Spirius. End quote. Please follow through at your earliest convenience. All anyone cares about is the stupid Maxwell, Mila. I'm sorry. Man, it sure is weird to be traveling with Gaius and Musée this time. <laughs> Indeed, we were mortal enemies only a year ago. I still remember the final battle between Mila and Gaius. When Mila got Gaius in a leg trap chameleon clutch and forced him to tap out. She's joking, obviously. I wasn't tapping out, I was reaching for the ropes. The judge called it wrong. Wait, what? I don't know what this chameleon clutch art you speak of is, but if it has the power to force Gaius to submit, I would very much like to learn it. Shall I teach you? First, you need to find and wrap your arms around a chameleon. Uh, I can't keep up with this anymore! So, who really did win? Well... The answer to that question is in the world you see around you. Meaning, the real battle is about the fate of the two linked worlds? Yes, and Gaius is still fighting to unify the world today. I am far from alone in that. Indeed. Jude, Leia, Rowan, all the others, and you, Luger. You're a part of this, too. That's why I still believe that everyone will emerge victorious in a fully unified world. Right. Well, Mila, you may be oblivious when it comes to humor, but you certainly know how to inspire the troops. Naturally. Now, before I was interrupted, I believe you were going to teach me this chameleon clutch art. Not everyone supported my plan to see Olympias with my own eyes and meet the people on its streets. But I'm convinced more than ever that it was the right choice. And gaining you as an ally is a large part of that. This is but a token of my esteem. I want you to have it. <laughs> 